This is ABC 7 News at Noon. Primary is over and we have the numbers coming up. Good afternoon, I'm Susan Farley. We'll also hear from two primary winners and take a look at their platforms. And it took 36 years, but Maine State Police never gave up. Now they've made an arrest all those years after an infant's death. We'll explain along with the rest of our stories. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. First, it's midday in the middle of the month. Let's check the midweek forecast with meteorologist Devin Biggs. Devin? Hey Susan, happy Wednesday afternoon. Your first weather forecast brought to you by Luigi and Fredericks across from Eastern Maine Medical Center, serving the greater Bangor area for over 65 years. All righty, so things are nice and quiet out there this afternoon. Hardly any clouds as well. We'll be under a partly cloudy sky from time to time today, but overall a lot of sunshine. Get outside and enjoy it. Have the sunscreen handy too. That sun will cause you to get sunburned rather quickly though. A little bit of storms up in parts of Canada. That will leave us alone No, but we will have our turn for more exciting weather coming up soon. Before today, we're quiet out there under a partly cloudy sky. Maybe a few more clouds moving in later on tonight, but overall things looking pretty good today and as well as tomorrow. But the wind's not too bad either. They'll be pretty decent at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Calming down tonight, but then picking up maybe up to 25 miles per hour as we head towards the daytime tomorrow as well. So for today, lower 80s, not too bad out there. Partly cloudy. Then we wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Later on tonight, lower 50s, not too bad, right? Under a partly cloudy sky and the window overall looking nice and calm. And for tomorrow, more clouds, mostly cloudy highs in the middle 70s, also windy. South wind getting up to about 25 miles per hour in just a few spots. And your hourly forecast for the rest of the afternoon period. Look at all the sunshine expected, though. Temperatures making it into the upper 70s to lower 80s. Your full five-day forecast is coming up. Susan? Thank you, Devin. After 36 years, Maine State Police have made an arrest for an abandoned infant found in Frenchville, Maine. On December 7, 1985, a baby Jane Doe was discovered by a dog that carried the infant less than 700 feet to his owner's home. After further investigation, state police determined the baby was born and abandoned in below zero temperatures at a gravel pit in Frenchville. State police homicide detectives used innovative technology to utilize DNA and genetic genealogy to identify the mother of baby Jane Doe as 58-year-old Leanne Daigle of Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, there was a tremendous amount of investigative effort put in from day one by the detectives back in 1985, um, and that effort has continued on. We've had several successes with these unsolved cases, and we'll have uh, several more. But it's, it's, a, it's, it's good that we can bring uh, resolution to the family um, and bring closure to, to a very tough case. Leanne Daigle was arrested Monday in Lowell, Massachusetts and transported back to Maine. She's charged with murder and is currently being held at the Arusta County Jail in Holton. A five-year-old boy drowned in Ambajigas Lake Tuesday afternoon, according to the Piscataquis County Sheriff's Office. Around 2 o'clock, Millinocket Police and Fire responded to a camp where the visiting family was renting. Authorities said the boy was fishing at the end of the dock and fell in. The father found him and immediately began CPR before authorities arrived. He was transported to a local hospital and later died. Police are investigating an incident in which a car crashed into the Riverside Inn on State Street in Bangor Tuesday afternoon. According to Bangor Police Sergeant Wade Betters, the Jeep had left the roadway, traveled through the parking lot, and slammed into the building. There were no major injuries. However, parts of the inn were evacuated when the vehicle started leaking fluids. A witness tells us the incident happened in a flash. I saw that I hear bang real loud. Then he hit the A should be in the corner by the, by the fire station. Then um, he can't go on. Sergeant Better says the driver likely experienced a medical event before losing control of the vehicle. The Bangor Police Department is currently investigating the accident. And now to your updated election results from overnight. We'll start with the Republican battle between Liz Caruso and Bruce Poliquin for the right to take on incumbent Jared Golden this November. Bruce Poliquin takes the win to represent Republicans in Maine's Congressional District 2. 
Paula Quinn getting just over 60 percent of the vote. Liz Caruso falls short with just over 12,000. Next, we have an update on the race for House District 11. Tiffany Strauss stands as the leader with 269 votes. Kendall Alley behind by about 150 votes, sitting down at 115. That race still only with 55 percent of the votes in. Switching over to House District 37, no update from overnight. Reagan's Paul still leads Kevin Kelly, but only 20 percent of the votes have been counted. We'll keep you updated. House District 38 has Jesse Warwick sitting behind Benjamin Himes. As of right now, only 22 percent of the votes are in for this race, but Warwick still has a narrow lead. For House District 59, Republican James Orr has won this race by over 100 votes from the Lewiston area. In the state Senate race for District 7, we had a three-way battle, but Nicole Groski has been ruled a winner with a commanding 6,000-vote lead over Brian Langley and Beg Benjamin Meckeljohn, sticking with state Senate. In District 10, no update from overnight, but Peter Leifert holds a narrow lead over Robert Cross. And finally, District 16, another three-way battle for the state Senate. Michael Perkins leading the pack with 845. Kevin Kitchen in second with 731. And Mark Andre is sitting in third with 334. Election officials report low turnout during Tuesday's primary election. Stephanie Wittenbach spoke to voters and has more on the race for the Republican nomination for District 2. Bruce Poliquin was at Orrington's polling place to cast a ballot and greet voters as they walked in. Here are a few things he wants to see happen if he wins primary and ultimately November's general election. Republicans, I hope, will regain the majority in Washington because this path we're on is just not working. Uh, for example, uh, Jerry Golden, who's the representative in this district now, votes 90 percent with Nancy Pelosi. The Republican primary is the only congressional race in Maine with two candidates running for office. He's running against Liz Caruso, a candidate from northern Maine who says she's running to end the corruption and gridlock in Washington. Both candidates say they'll protect the Second Amendment and work to close our borders. All the national security threats that we're up against right now, we need someone who's going to fight and protect our nation. Paula Quinn says his Republican colleagues right now are on the same page. Many Democrats want to make a change because what we're doing right now is not working. This Biden, Pelosi, Golden agenda has really been a disaster for our country. Voters say the pressures of everyday prices as a result of inflation had them running to the election polls to vote Tuesday. LePage ran and budgeted um, our money and I don't feel that those things have been budgeted the same way. Um, I think that a lot of money has been wasted and um, I hope to see that that revert the way that it used to be. I think if I don't vote, I can't complain. You can't control that there's inflation. You can't control that gas prices have gone up and so the best people can do is try to wait it out. I don't know what the answer is, but I think everybody blaming each other doesn't help. An election official here at the Cross Insurance Center says that the voter turnout was a lot better than they expected. In Bangor, I'm Stephanie Wittenbach reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22. Democrat Janet Mills is running for re-election for Maine governor, and her opponent, Republican Paula Page, is no stranger to the Blaine House either. He served two terms from 2011 to 2019. Our Jody Hersey sat down with both candidates who say they'd like another chance to work for the people of Maine. Fight all the gas is unnecessary. It's just unnecessary. I hate the prices at the pump. It's outrageous. And to see that ExxonMobil declared another $6.6 .6 billion in profits the first quarter of this year alone, that is outrageous. Now, can one governor cure that, address that effectively? I don't know. I can't really call up Vladimir Putin and tell him to get the heck out of Ukraine. I wish I could, and I wish you'd listen to me. Rising prices at the pump may be the only issue Governor Janet Mills and her opponent, Paul LePage, agree on. The two who are unopposed on their respective party's ticket in the primary don't see eye to eye on abortion. I guess I won't be surprised anymore if the U.S. Supreme Court uh, overturns Roe v. Wade, but I'd be extremely disappointed. Having lived through the era before Roe v. Wade, there's a place for everything in this society. I prefer adoption over abortion. I don't uh, prescribe to using abortion as a form of contraception. 
but I think the state should be making that decision, not uh, unelected officials in Washington. Mills and LePage strongly differ on the state of Maine's economy as well. What I've done with the help of the legislature, bipartisan group in the legislature, is to use the surplus that we've carefully managed to um, and use that surplus, 60% of it's going back to the people of Maine right now in the form of $850 checks. You cannot pay able-bodied people to stay home and accept and expect to have a, a good society, a good, a good uh, economy. If, if you're better today than four years ago, then I'm not your guy. But if you liked it better four years ago, then I am your guy. In Bangor, I'm Jody Hersey for ABC7 and Fox 22. Coming up on ABC 7 News at noon, the Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates again today. We'll hear the latest from Washington when we return. Up in Smoke Fireworks is family owned with a huge selection including Brothers and Showtime, Time Bandit and Black Hat brands. We will share our knowledge with you. Then go have a blast. blast. Up in Smoke Fireworks, 173 West Main Street, Searsport. If you've been injured and think you can't afford a lawyer, Think again. I never paid a penny out of pocket, and they settled my case for over $165,000. Call the twos. We win for you. My sister's managing a lot, including her type 2 diabetes, but she's found new ways to stay on top of it all. Once Weekly Trulicity is proven to help lower A1C, and it can help you lose up to 10 pounds. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Ask your doctor about once weekly Trulicity. The law. I've been a judge for 40 years. Don't waste my time. If you break it. You didn't pay rent. You'll pay for it. It's my show. Nobody cares whether you have a personality or not. Weeknights at 5 on ABC7. Looking to improve or upgrade your home? Here with At Home FAB and KBF, we offer a great selection of appliances, furniture, bedding, cabinetry, flooring, and more. We have a friendly, welcoming environment and will work with you every step of the way from start to finish. We service our merchandise. Any fixes or repairs, we can do that too. Our professional team has more than 50 years of experience and is here to help. Stop in and ask about our Synchrony 12 months financing with no interest and see what we can do to make you feel at home. The signs of spring are here. The sun's out for the evening commute. Whistles and clapping echo from the ball field and the flowers bloom with warmer days on the horizon. Valley Home Services offers whole home comfort with the changing of the seasons. With the push of a button on a Fujitsu heat pump, you're ready for whatever spring brings. Humid days or cool nights, come home to comfort with Valley Home Services. Home is our middle name. You're watching ABC7 Bangor. Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates again today. ABC's Ika Jachi is in Washington with more. This morning, the rising prices of goods and services continues to tighten its grip on American families. Got three kids, two teenagers and a young one, so it, anything helps. We barely make it, and I get paid pretty good at my job. Families are now spending nearly $350 more every month than they did for the same things last year. Gas is up $5 a gallon, around 50% higher from last year. Groceries are up too, almost 12%, and rent up 26%. Marilyn Bailey is retired, but the rising cost of her rent now has her looking for work. I'm looking for a part-time job at 75. The Labor Department says producer prices rose 10.8% last month compared to the same time last year. The Federal Reserve responding. They're expected to raise the cost of borrowing by three quarters of a point, all in hopes of slowing down the economy. This inflation uh, is very painful and it has to come down. So the only way of doing that is getting those interest rates up and slowing the growth rate in the economy. 
That economic slowdown means the cost of credit cards, car loans, and mortgages will rise even more at a time Americans are already seeing rising prices for just about everything. President Biden in Philadelphia Tuesday reminding Americans that unemployment remains at record lows, but pushing back at his critics who say his administration's spending policies, including pandemic stimulus funds, fueled this inflation. I don't want to hear any more of these lies about reckless spending. We're changing people's lives. Jobs are back, but prices are still too high. Our work isn't done. The Federal Reserve is trying to tame current inflation without plunging the economy into a recession. But some experts warn the country may still be headed for one anyway. Maine State Police are planning a major reorganization of the agency in light of ongoing staffing shortages. A.J. Douglas talked to the commissioner about how these changes will impact the people of Maine. They looked at a data-driven process that said, well, we need to change the structures that we've been utilizing for the last several decades. Main State Police have decided to once again reorganize their structure to accommodate the number of troopers needed on the front lines while satisfying the need for more officers in leadership roles. The agency will begin combining troop field groups to focus on areas that have shown higher levels of demand. It's going to be that that kind of ability to 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 move them and assign them, you know, differently for a shift to prevent that negative impact and yet maintain that coverage that we need. State police also plan to open positions for mental health providers. This appears to be the root cause or the common theme that keeps bringing us back to that house. And, you know, so many times there are people within that household that want this person to get some assistance, right? And they don't know where to start. So I think that's, we, we hope to be the, the jumping off point for that family to have somebody from the state police come alongside of them and say, hey, what's going on? Did you know about this? Did you know about these resources? The agency wants residents of Maine to know the mission of the department remains the same. Uh, they're going to have the same troopers patrolling their areas that they do uh, today. And I think that's paramount to community policing. And one thing we will never give up on or compromise on is the quality of the people we hire. Colonel Cody says the changes will begin in phases beginning this summer. State police plan to see additional changes like adding body cams in early 2023. In Augusta, A.J. Douglas, ABC 7, Fox 22. Now with Wednesday's business news, here's Leo Jonathan. The Federal Reserve is wrapping up its latest two-day meeting this afternoon and may raise a key interest rate by three-quarters of a point, the biggest single interest rate hike since the early 1990s. The Fed is looking for ways to slow inflation. The S&P and Dow closed down on Tuesday. The S&P dropped nearly four-tenths of a percent. The Dow was off one half of one percent. The Nasdaq finished up nearly two-tenths of a percent. UPS has unveiled new battery-powered four-wheel cycles for deliveries in congested cities, the test of the pedal-powered carts will start in New York and several cities in Europe. And Microsoft officially ends support for Internet Explorer today. It was replaced by Edge seven years ago. I'm Leo Jonathan with Wednesday's Business on ABC7. Coming up, we'll have today's Medical Minute. When we return, we'll be right back. The weather in Maine is tough on any vehicle. Let the qualified technicians at DNS Auto keep your vehicle running the way it should. DNS Auto, Brewer, Maine, full service repair, routine maintenance, and everything in between. If you're a Medicare beneficiary and live in the area, call now to see how this little card could get you some big benefits, including money added back to your Social Security check. With one toll free call, you can find out how easy it is to get all of your original Medicare coverage plus extra benefits. You get an all-in-one plan designed to fit your needs so you can be your best every day. You could have medical coverage, prescription drugs with $0 generics, dental, vision and hearing, plus the WellCare Visa Flex Card, money for over-the-counter items, and money back in your Social Security check each month, and so much more. And here's more good news. You can get a WellCare plan for a $0 monthly premium. How can WellCare offer all of those benefits for a $0 monthly premium? It's simple. Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage are important parts of Medicare. WellCare has a contract with Medicare to offer and provide these important options to you. Call right now to get your free copy of the WellCare All-in-One Guide. 
Call 1-877-282-3827 now. There is absolutely no obligation for requesting this free information. WellCare offers benefits that go beyond the basics, including up to $840 each year added to your Social Security check to help cover your Part B premium. Call today to get your free copy of the All-in-One Guide with absolutely no obligation. Your free plan guide will give you the details you need to make a smart choice for your Medicare coverage. Just call 1-877-282-3827. Remember, there's no obligation for requesting this free information. So call 1-877-282-3827. Well care. Call today. The weather in Maine is tough on any vehicle. Let the qualified technicians at DNS Auto keep your vehicle running the way it should. DNS Auto, Brewer, Maine, full service repair, routine maintenance, and everything in between. The pandemic put a damper on the celebrations that surround a new baby. Data shows it's taken a toll. With more, here's ABC's Justin Finch. Many expectant mothers spend countless hours preparing for their little one. And when that day does not go as planned, it can be emotionally devastating. Researchers at the University of Michigan recently published two studies looking into the pandemic's impact on the mental health of new moms. They found a third of women who delivered at the beginning of the pandemic had postpartum depression, about three times the previous rate. Suicidal thoughts and self-harm also increased among childbearing women. The pandemic forced many women to make drastic changes in their birthing plans, such as foregoing the hospital for at-home birthing or delivering without their partners present. On top of this, COVID-19 proved very anxiety-provoking for many people. Scientists say they are only just beginning to grasp the scope of the pandemic's impact on mental health. With this Medical Minute, I'm Justin Finch, ABC News. When we return, Devin Biggs has your five-day forecast. The signs of spring are here. The sun's out for the evening commute. Whistles and clapping echo from the ball field. And the flowers bloom with warmer days on the horizon. Valley Home Services offers whole home comfort with the changing of the seasons. With a push of a button on a Fujitsu heat pump, you're ready for whatever spring brings. Humid days or cool nights, come home to comfort with Valley Home Services. Home is our middle name. If you've been injured and think you can't afford a lawyer, think again. There's absolutely no fee unless we win money for you. I called the twos when I was hit by a speeding driver. Lowry and Associates started working for me for no money up front. I never paid a penny out of pocket and they settled my case for over $165,000. I'm Jim with Lowry and Associates. Call the twos. We win for you. If you hurt in an accident, what do you do? Call two, 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 22, 22. Salida's Rug Cleaners in Bangor is the best and only spot you should go to for your rug cleanings. Serving Maine for more than 70 years, we care about your rugs. Clean rugs last longer, and our family takes pride in being the professionals that you can trust. Our cleaning process consists of soaking your rug in a bath, shampooing, rinsing, and drying in a humidity-controlled dry room, making sure no detail is overlooked. Need a repair? We fully service every type of rug for you. Salida's Rug Cleaners. We care about your rugs! ABC7, Fox 22, McLaughlin Seafood, and Firehouse Subs want to send you to see Leonard Skinner live in concert on their Big Wheels Keep On Turning Tour with special guest Marshall Ducker Band and The Outlaws Sunday, July 3rd at the Maine Savings Amphitheater in Bangor. Sign up to win tickets by registering at McLaughlin's Lobster, Seafood, and Takeout in Bangor, specializing in live Maine lobsters and the freshest seafood, and Firehouse Subs in Bangor, where a portion of your purchase goes toward providing equipment for first responders. Win tickets to see Leonard Skinner July 3rd on the Bangor Waterfront. With Father's Day only a few days away, we want to share a recipe that we think dad and all the dads in your life will love. I mean, what dad doesn't like steak? And when it's marinated in beer, all the better. We start off by making an outrageous marinade by mixing together some soy sauce, brown sugar, minced garlic, and get this, a good amount of beer.
Now we marinate a flank steak in this in the fridge for at least a couple hours or even overnight. Come dinner time, we take the steak out of the marinade and toss it onto our outdoor grill or we can even do this right in the grill pan, right on our stovetop. All it takes is about five minutes per side or until it's done to your liking. Then we sprinkle on some sea salt and some freshly ground pepper before slicing it thinly across the grain. Does this look mouth-watering or what? Between the richness of the beer and the wow we get from the garlic, you can't miss. So here's what I suggest. Go online and get the recipe for Dad's Beer Marinated Steak. So you'll be ready to impress your dad this Father's Day with a steak that'll be loved as much as he is. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, wishing dads everywhere a happy Father's Day filled with lots of, ooh, it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Now let's check your full forecast with Devin Biggs. Devin? All righty, happy Wednesday afternoon. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home of Maine's lowest camper and tractor prices, with locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. All right, we're looking pretty good out there this afternoon. No, a lot of sunshine to be seen. Hardly any clouds. We'll see a few clouds during the afternoon period. Say nothing outrageous, so maybe a little bit more by the evening time frame. The overall pattern is a big front across a good part of the country right now, causing severe weather to be possible there later today. But for us, we're looking pretty good today and tomorrow. We're looking rather calm, but tomorrow, more clouds could soon be on the way. Wave heights not too bad, only around two to three feet. No advisories along the coast at this point as things are remaining nice and calm for us. The winds won't be too bad today either, maybe up to 10 miles per hour in a few spots, really calming down later tonight. But look what happens as we head towards tomorrow. Gusty winds up to 25, maybe 30 miles per hour. Not out of the question as our next system starts to get closer. Our average high is now 75 degrees. We'll do the lower 80s today. Not too bad with middle to upper 70s Thursday and Friday. Middle to upper 60s by Saturday and Sunday. Then lower 70s again by Monday and the Tuesday. So overall not too bad. Maybe a little bit cooler once we head toward the weekend. Let's talk about dew points. So they will be on the rise as this front approaches. So maybe a quick boost in the uh, dew points by Friday morning up to the, into the middle 60s, which will feel a little bit more on the humid side but that will be rather short lived. But if you are heading out the door today though, our UV index forecast is at an eight that is very high. So I mean, say burn time of around 15 minutes or so. So the hat, the sunglasses, sunscreen, shade, all necessary as you do head out the door. So a future cast moving forward for today, not too bad under a part of the economy sky looking rather nice out there though. More of the clouds arriving later on tonight and maybe more on the way tomorrow though as our next system starts to approach. Getting a little windy as well. By tomorrow night, more rain showers, even a few rumbles of thunder are possible as more showers and storms will be possible with an active pattern that will begin later on this week. So for today though, 80s, not too bad, right under a part of the economy sky that north wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Later on tonight, lower 50s under a part of the economy sky and the wind over all looking nice and calm for tomorrow. Middle 70s under a mostly cloudy sky getting windy out there as well. The south wind getting up to about 25 miles per hour in your Scott's recreation extended forecast. Storms begin on Friday highs in the upper 70s, upper 60s on Saturday with a chance for storms and more rain on Sunday with highs in the mid 60s. Thank you, Devin. I've seen a couple of beautiful rainbows, including one last night just before sunset, but I'm really happy to have the sunshine. That's all for ABC 7 News at noon. Thanks for watching. I'm Susan Farley. We'll see you this evening on ABC 7 News at 6. Have a great afternoon and enjoy that sunshine.
Did you know that it's possible to buy the wrong type of flooring for your home? When